What up everybody? Wag one. It's a girl Tani. And Shanti. And we are back. We're back. Welcome back guys. Happy yes. Sunday. So, in today's video we'll be telling a, a story. About some of the neighbor them we did have or when we were living at a home. We're living at, in a particular area and we had some very Just troublesome neighbors. neighbors. They would find the least thing to make yes. problem with. We we weren't the troublemakers, they were but <laughs> We're gonna tell you about how a lot of stuff happened. Okay, so I believe this was a Sunday. A couple of years ago, guys. A couple, couple years, years ago. ago. In the same community that we're living in now. So a couple of years ago, we were home one Sunday. Alright, when they was, them always through the new in the community. They always, always pick on us. Pick on us. You know, they knew and then I know them just started. Just like when persons are new at school and you know, kids yeah, pick, pick on, on them and stuff. They were childish. Yes. I, I'm hoping that they're not still like that. So but, like um, sometimes we are outside, they used to like throw stone in the house, throw stone and all throw house oranges, and make laughing sounds and yeah, and especially one of the girls, the the oldest daughter for the family, she always and the, the kids would follow and do all those. She stuff. always had throw words after when we are walk on the road and stuff like that. But yeah. you know me, I, I'm I'm the more I'm the more talkative one, so I would kind of like answering and stuff. Tan Tan wouldn't answer and all that, but. And we were younger still, so they're like on the right number. No this particular event now, this took place on a Sunday. It, I believe it was a Sunday or a weekend, some or a Saturday. So it was on a weekend, but the yard, the grass was cut. So my sister, our sister PT, was raking up the yard and stuff. One of the boys from next door, he was eating a piece of cane. But when he was eating it, he was chewing out, you know, getting out the juice and then spitting out the trash. So he was walking through our yard doing that. And I threw the trash. And I threw the well. Well, she had to sweep up the yard. So, so she was like, uh, you know. So he might dirty up the yard while the yard are clean up. So she said, like, you can't do that. You don't need to do that. All right. And it, was, it, it wasn't even his yard, it was our yard. So. And then live next door. Next door, we have fences and everything. We don't even know how he reached over there to be littering. So she was saying, You can't do that. And I was like, You know, you can't. He was like ignoring and cussing back and all that. You can't tell me not to do that. You can't tell me not to do that. So they, they start, they were in a confrontation. And then they started fighting physically. And I remember seeing my sister holding him like this. He was a big boy. She grabbed him. She grabbed him right like this. And then on that arm like so. So this would be his head. And she had a um razor phone. But then when razor did that. She took started to phone and said, Lick it. Yeah, because we're we we had to we know we never then there was a trouble where I said, we'll catch him like yeah. yeah. So, so it's like class. everything build up and you take it out and everybody do whatever we run out now. Me the choir or run out and like I told you that because we never really never get in to fight or Try if you don't do anything. Then his family over his side, they ran the out, we ran out, and, and the, the mother was pregnant at the time. The, his mother yes. was pregnant, and her she, big belly. she came over there trying to fight my sister <laughs> while she was fighting him and with her big belly. Out, no. And then our mother came out and said, oh, yeah, this one, that one. And what they started throwing stones, we started throwing back stones. stones. And we had a, another person who lived on the, on the same house with us, in uh, and who, then who went for the machine. Well, Peter Gay went for the machine. Um, she's shutting at the house now for machines. And you're talking. I'm having yeah. <laughs> some Peter calm down. I'm give her some water. She's sitting down and by the time we turn me back, Peter Gay shut down the the machine. And then somebody else who was living on our house, he had to go out there and wrestle yeah. the machine from us. We had to get We had to get And then everybody was in tempo. Everybody fighting everybody. And it was like one family against the other family and it was a big massacre in the community. Like it was a big thing because those persons they, they trouble everybody. Everybody they trouble. So so after everything cooled down and everything and it was in the night time so we were getting ready to go to bed because we were going to school the next day. As I said, it was a Sunday. So we were you know get going to bed. We hear boom, 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 boom. So you say what that? When we go out the door, the wall of them over them yard line out with stone in them hand and throw up on the house top. Throw me for them. I used to say, I know when I do them, not when I do we them. Know. And if I did some they neighbors and some, in some community, they would start, the organic group shadow that one, like real, 
big eruption. But and we, we, we calm, so we don't do them now. So we, we tried to ignore it, and they see, when, they, when they saw that we weren't paying any attention to them, we weren't giving them the time of the day, they get they, they start stoning. <laughs> like the whole of them start. <laughs> we're like, seriously, what's wrong with them people here? Then after a while, it calmed down. I was like, all right, we can go sleep. Boom, boom, so I know this. Them people are out of their mind completely. Like when they when they couldn't find any stone anymore, they started using oranges and those youngsters. Anything they could find on the house. So we're we're we're, we're not living near to those persons. Anymore. They're still in the community though. And I think them changed how long they know. Well, maybe because they run with every neighbor. <laughs> and then they're able to live near and them because they're from crazy the and watching creepy. This video, they know who we're talking about. Yeah, they do. So, so and there are other incidents that things that a lot of other incidents with, with those persons. They're, you know, troublemakers. But they set up people. Eh? Comment below and tell us if you have those kind of people in your comment. Just a set of people just get trouble. Or one set of family will just trouble everybody in the line. Nobody and just, you know. Most of them are big now. So, we're kind of hoping that. You know, they're not like that. Even though you have some other kids, you have some teenage ones and some little ones. But the, the main ones, they are yeah, yeah. adults now. So have, having kids now and Having stuff, kids so. and stuff. Yeah, that's so. true. We're hoping. We don't have to hope because what are they going to do? That, no, we're hoping that they've changed and others yeah. don't have to be going through that misery, that yeah. stuff that we went through. So. That's basically our story. We have more stories to tell you guys. So you guys have been asking for story time since we told the first story. Yeah. So <laughs> they started it for Ta-da! <laughs> when they bought me bunch of my phone. And so uh, yes, from that day I'm just gonna try to be careful with my phone and stuff. So you now I'm gonna talk to me again. Yes. And walk gosh. by myself, no. Yeah. So you guys hope you liked our story. Comment below if you can relate. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. We make new videos every Sunday Yay. with Tani and Shanti. Guys, please give this video a big thumbs up if you like our content. Please thumbs up and subscribe and share the video with your friends and family. Tell them about Tani and Shanti. Please, guys. Yes. Yes. So, thanks for watching. So, later. Wait, thumbs up and Okay. Yeah, quiz me too. Jeez, I'm peace.